What is going on, everybody? I hope everybody enjoyed their week last week. And I hope everybody profited from every single trade that was called down on the last market breakdown. Every single trade hit take profit. Even this day trade opportunity that I called uh, a couple days ago. Look how precise that take profit was, guys. It's <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> Literally to the T is when the take profit was taken. I told you guys this was going to happen. <clears throat> so, excuse me. And if you watched the last market breakdown, this is just unbelievable. Now, with XRP, I'm not going to dive in too deep into it just because I am still creating that uh, you know, day trade opportunity for you guys. And what's going on is that I, there isn't really anything that I mentioned uh, that I can mention now that I haven't mentioned before about XRP. This thing is gonna fly to the moon uh, in 2019, guys. But anyways, I'm just gonna clear this up just because that already hit take profit, <laughs> and you already see that it first started rejecting off this zone and then started rejecting off this uh, this support. Cool. But I'm not gonna dive too deep into that. Uh, but yeah, so let's hop into Euro JPY to start off. Okay, Euro JPY hit take profit right here <laughs> to the absolute T, like I mentioned. Uh, you should have gotten a nice 40 pips profit off that. <clears throat> this is last market breakdowns. I like to keep the profits from last time, the trade analysis from last time, just to kind of show you guys. So, taking a quick glance at this, I already know where it's going to head. I just want to make it clear for you guys to be able to see it too. Uh, so this Fibonacci retracement right here, you guys see from body to body. Let me get this out of the way. Okay. Uh, when when it's body to body like that, right, and you see where market is actually hanging out right now, is that it rejected off the 61, rejected off of it again, and just kept on rejecting off of it. Uh, but it's getting to the point where, you know, it closed above it, but then right right below it. Um, so now, before I even continue with the signal, I just want to make it more clear to you guys. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll end up switching the Fibonacci from the one to zero. So I just kind of show you guys something really cool. Body to body again. You see, seventy-eight respected right here. This is the first resistance and then a support. Sixty-one again, and you guys can see that. So what's going to happen is <clears throat> your JPY is. From what it seems like it so let me let me get to the one hour just to make it more clear for you guys okay from what it seems like it we could very easily see this either drop straight to the zone or straight to the 61 so it'll probably wick the 61 uh, retracement this is a 61 I'm pretty sure uh, or it'll just you know come down here right or the second scenario it could come up just a little tad more it won't go up it won't so you got you guys can see boom 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 three times to the zone um, and it's just been very respected and immediately it bounced down over here so I can see that either going straight down from here or a little rise just, just for the EMAs to cross over uh, across the 200 EMA, just to kind of fool everybody that is going to rise before it starts dropping over here. Because once again, guys, we didn't see a huge... So this is a huge drop, right? We didn't see a retest. This is not a good enough retest right here. So what I do see your JPY, like I said, doing, is that it could either drop right away or it could rise a little bit before it starts dropping to this area. Now... Once you reach this area, we could potentially see that huge rise, right? But we're not in that area yet. We have to let the market speak for itself, okay? So if you guys want to enter in a trade right here, <clears throat> this is what this is what I'm already entered in. So you guys feel free to enter on this too. I'll have the stop loss right here, about 40, 41 pips or 44 pips, just a little bit above the uh, the other highs, just in case it wants to come spike up here, it won't, it won't take us out. So 50 pips is your uh, stop loss, and 
if you want a safe trade so you don't want to get into the wick and you want to bank off 83 pips right here is your trade um so stop loss would be around 125.23 entry is 124.74 and take profit is 123.91 so that one is your jpy heading over to euro jpp of course this hit take profit immediately um and right now whew, wow to the t guys i'm telling you these these zones and these trend lines that i draw that i draw always come in play they're always very respected okay you see that boom 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 okay uh we already as members we already you know got into this cell from over here people that are uh with the robot uh but so what I see Euro JPP doing, and you guys can see the pattern. Every time it touches this, it comes down here, uh, it retests this, and then it drops down. Comes down here, retest, drop down. Comes down here, retest, drop down. So what I see happening is, so it could drop a little bit more, come up to a retest, kind of following uh, Euro JPY's uh, momentum. I can maybe even see a wick, one more wick before it drops back to this support if you look at that support it's a 78 that's probably where i'll take my profit on that trade i don't want to risk it and wait for the zone just because you guys can kind of see there's a up up momentum right your jpp is just consolidating to let your jpy do its thing so stop loss this one i'm going to put about 44 pips just because you know, there's a lot of wicks over here, and this one wick over here probably hit a lot of stop losses before it started uh, dropping down. But I'll have my stop loss over here, and I'll have my take profit at the 78 fib, which is at take profit is 0.8992, and stop loss is 0 0.9069. With your USD, we also have take profit. Everything hit take profit from last market markets breakdown uh you guys can see that wow it literally to the zone and then started rejecting um now you guys can kind of see not all these euro jpy and euro jp they don't all look the same guys okay they don't all look the same i said that once once this was broken that we could definitely see the zone and of course that's exactly what happened now looking at it from a different perspective right Let's switch these around. From body to body. You guys can see that. Uh, wow. It's gorgeous. Literally. So it, come, it came down over here. And you guys see it still didn't break below the 78. Fib, yeah, it's t and now it's perfect time to retest the EMAs. So with this, oh my God, this is actually this could be a really nice trade, but uh, this definitely will rise <coughs> to this area, which is a very respected zone, which is one point one five two one, and then honestly, it's going to continue down that momentum. Now I do see this maybe spiking past this. But you guys can see, based on this bold vertical line, this is a very respected uh, top, right? So uh, resistance, I guess, would be another word for it. But so this could spike over here. But honestly, like I said, your EOZ is just kind of on the go. It doesn't want to hang out. It just wants to go up. So with that being said, is that <clears throat> this is also a short position. However... I would keep my uh, stop losses tight on this one, just maybe right here, 30 pips. Uh, you you don't have to take this trade just because your USD seems like it's just gonna rise before the rest. Uh, you know we do expect that down momentum. However, you know your USD it has to cooperate, but at some point it doesn't always have to cooperate. So take profit would be at 1.1473, entry is at 1.1503, and then stop loss is at 1.5365.
Uh, those are the signals basically that I'm giving. I'm, I'm really not trying to give out signals. I'm trying to have you guys understand the market as much as possible. So looking at this vertical line that I drew here, you guys can see that even back in November, it respected it. So I do see it coming down to that area before a rally up, okay? Uh, that's it for this market breakdown. Let me know if you want me to break down any other charts. And uh, wow, the whole entire market is bearish today, huh? <laughs> oh, except odd cat, of course. But yeah, just let me know what you guys think. And I hope you guys enjoyed this market breakdown.